In this video, we will have, uh, again, a short introduction to lists because the last video just showed our problem and now we want to mm, tackle this problem. So we will start by, we, we will start very easy um, with the basics. So I'm not giving you a fully coded example of a list now. We will um, do that step by step by ourselves. Um, you will learn what's a list, why we do things the way we do it and, and so on. Okay, so first of all, we will start with linked lists. Linked lists is the yeah simplest kind of a dynamic data structure. And it's also our first dynamic data structure, which makes totally sense to start with the easiest one. So, Mm, before we mm, start our ideas, uh, I want to give you a brief overview over a linked list because it's a little complicated. Um, the question, why are we using a linked list? Because you see, we have one advantage, which is that we can add any number of items at runtime and of course we should also be able to remove them but we are going to uh, talk about that a little later because that's actually not very clear and removing is um, a little bit difficult um, but we also have a lot of disadvantage disadvantages and that's something we didn't talk about in the last video so i want to cover it here First of all, uh, we do not have random access on lists. W what does it mean? That means if you think about arrays, we could just um, declare an array. We, c we can make we, c we can put some values into that array. And um, maybe let's say we have an array of size five. We can just say, OK, give me the element at the third position and we can just access that element. That is not possible with lists. If we want to have the third, um, the third value of it inside of a list, we have to read the first two values of a list too. So we need to um, cycle through that list until we go, we get to the position that we actually want. So that's very bad. That because it's time consuming, and it also requires a little bit more code than an array of courses and um, also it requires knowledge of pointers and allocating memory so it's like I just said it's a little bit more complicated and it also requires more memory compared to uh, arrays because um, you will see that in a picture soon we uh, have the data we want to store and to that data we also have to store a pointer so we produce some overhead that we would not need if we just have arrays but you will see that on a picture soon um, you can see that we have quite a lot of disadvantages and um, on this short list of course it's not complete but we have more disadvantages than actual advantages so you could say why are we using linked lists if we have that much disadvantages why why don't we just go ahead and take arrays because the problem is we really desperately want dynamic data structures uh, you will maybe maybe you can already think uh, of a reason why that is but you will also see it later that people already mm, invented some structures or some some workarounds to pass some of the these disadvantages or to make them a little bit to soften them a little bit so mm, we actually can come around some of these disadvantages we can like i just said we can soften them a little and so the linked lists become very powerful and um yeah we want to get there step by step to our powerful dynamic data structure in C. And we will start off by 
um, outlining an idea. So you remember we have some persons. I gave a few values to the person, like the ID, a name, uh, a salary maybe. So that seems to be a company. And the next pointer that I mentioned earlier. <clears throat> and the next pointer always points, of course, to the next person. So that means I have a struct which has um, ID, maybe that's an integer value, a character array, and maybe a double value and a pointer of type person. So inside of here is just another person. And if we don't have a person anymore, maybe we let it just point to null um, for now. Okay, mm, so that's basically the idea. But like I said, we want to start simple. So I want to, co I come up with a concept that I developed and uh, we will just try to, to um, reach our small goals step by step. We will always make some small goals um, by doing um, everything that I've written here. First of all, we will start easy with some test data. That means we we just take some integer value and a next pointer. We don't take um, all this stuff here, maybe just like integer and a pointer, really just one value and a pointer. We just want to have a proof of concept. And after we accomplished that, we will try to improve the list. That will come later. First, we will concentrate on a working list Be because also usually the first solution is never perfect. If you have a new problem and you come up with a solution, this is most likely a solution that can be improved. So for now, we want to implement a simple list, like having just one integer value and a pointer. And that list should be able to take whatever number of data without um, needing to reallocate memory. Um, however, if we notice any errors or misbehavior, we will write it down, make a note, and we will put this to our to-do list and try to improve our list step by step. Mm, I think it's better than really just giving you the code for a fully working list because you can see, oh, if I do it, I, uh, I have some bad, some bad things happen if I do that or something. So you will know, okay, we, we have to come up with some idea to solve this problem. And that's why the list will look like a list later. <laughs> I mean, if you just search on the internet, try to find a list and see, you will see that sometimes it's really, really a lot of code, especially for mm, double linked lists. That, that is some topic later. The, that code can be really big and uh, you should uh, do this by yourself one time so you can see, oh, that's why we have to do this. Okay, and um, of course, the best way to see that is getting to work by yourself. So maybe try it yourself first. This example is pretty easy because you take some integer value, you take a pointer, that's nothing that we don't know uh, about. And yeah, try it out by yourself. Maybe you even find some, some things that can be improved, write them down, maybe you see, a future video that will cover that very problem. Mm. Okay, go ahead and uh, after you've after you finished your work, just uh, watch the next video. I'm going to implement our first very simple uh, kind of list in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.